Hello and thanks for tuning in. This is a best gift idea video series I've put together that features cool gifts and gadgets that any man would love to receive as a gift. Let's get started. Just a quick overview of what No Beta Gear is all about. It's a channel for cool gear, gadgets, and other topics for the modern man. So please share, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Now let's get started. Today we are taking a look at a made in the USA Zippo lighter. But not just any Zippo, this is a 1941 replica model of a brushed chrome finish. And it is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Alright, let's take a look inside this sleeved gray and black jewelry grade box here. Very sturdy box, has a 1930s vibe to it. Of course I believe Zippo was founded in the 30s. Genuine Zippo lighter made in the USA. Very nice presentation outside. Let's look inside. Speaking of jewelry boxes, there's a beautiful piece of jewelry right there, and that's a 1941 replica, folks. Beautiful brushed chrome sitting in a little felt lined pocket of cardboard base there. Let's pop it out. And in contrast, we've got the lovely, smooth, high-polished chrome sides and top. The only gimmicky part of this presentation would be this little warning sticker on the back, but understandable why they have to have that in this day and age. Have the traditional Zippo lettering. This one looks like a 2018 model. Let's pull off this ugly orange sticker. Got a little bit of residue on there. We'll have to wipe that off later. First impressions of the overall packaging and presentation. I'm very happy. I think it's very nice, very classy, except for the tacky sticker, pun intended. Tucked inside our top is our owner's manual. Let's pop it out. Of course, Zippo has a lifetime guarantee. Pretty straightforward instructions on how to fill it. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of how our 1941 replica stacks up against a modern Zippo. This one on the left is a matte black contemporary model. And right off the bat you can see it stands a little bit taller than our 1941 Zippo. There's some other differences you'll find. Uh, for one, the hinge system is going to be a little bit different. Uh, the 1941 replica comes with a four barrel hinge. Our modern Zippo has a five barrel hinge. And what that actually means is if we open up our contemporary Zippo, you can see it opens up to a certain point and then stops. Whereas the four barrel hinge actually allows it to extend fully. That's a key difference. Another thing we'll look at is the rivets on the flint wheel there. You can see we have a solid rivet on the modern. We have a pass through rivet on the replica. Not sure if that's an advantage or not, but pretty sure that's just a keeping true to the design of the replica. Everything else is very comparable as far as the functionality of this timeless design. Seeing some of these key differences really makes me even more drawn to the 1941 version. Here is a better view of the modern Zippo's side comparison to the 1941. You can see the more rounded edge on the newer version, whereas our 1941 has a flatter classic side to it. Here's a look at the underside of each lighter. You can see our 1941 Zippo features a classic text of the logo. And here's a look at what the logos are supposed to look like from the time frames. And our contemporary has got a modern looking logo. Also, we've got the date of manufacture. Uh, ironically, our contemporary lighter was actually is actually older than our replica. It was made in 2017 and the replica is a 2018 version. And you see the letters on the far left. You've got the F code and then the H code. And those are the that symbolizes the month. So if you count on your finger the letters of the alphabet, H would be August and F would be June. 
Of course, the ultimate resource will be Zippo themselves. This is an explanation of the date codes from their website. Please visit them for more details. I'll leave a link to their website below. But I just find it fascinating that in this day and age, we're finding products with this much history and this much detail, at, especially at this price point. For under 20, well under $25, you're able to get something that's this interesting and well-made. So let's light this candle. Using Zippo, Genuine Zippo Lighter Fluid, which is highly recommended. Let's see how to fill one of these. Of course, as always, following the manufacturer's instructions, filling up our Zippo could not be easier. You simply flip open the Zippo lighter, pull out the lighter insert, flip it upside down to reveal the felt pad at the bottom. If yours is recessed like mine was, you can use a paper clip or a knife, something safely to pop open that felt pad. Once you have that pried upright to get to it, using the magic of photo technology, we can reveal what's underneath, and that's the packing material. Our wick is interwoven into that packing material, so what we want to do is we want to saturate the filler with the Zippo lighter fluid. And that's pretty straightforward. We're going to fill up the entire reservoir until that packing is fully saturated visually, but not overflowing and not coming out the top. Fast forwarding through the magic of YouTube, we've now filled up both of our lighter inserts successfully, putting them back into the case. And now we will show you some examples of how these things light. Starting with my everyday carry lighter, you can see this one's well broken in. It's got a perfect flame to my liking. Now trying out my new 1941 replica. This is a good example of a newer wick that may need to be centered. Give you a little closer look of how to do that. Just get some needle nose pliers and you can either center it or pull it to where there's more wick to give you more flame. I'm just going to center it a little bit and see if it breaks in. Let's give it a try. And that's looking more like it. Again, you can pull out more wick and get a bigger flame. But this is about how I like them. So what makes this such a great gift for a man and why is it on my best gifts for men list? For under $25, you can own an American legend. The 1941 replica is a World War II era version of the Zippo. It's still produced here in the good old USA, and it is a bang for the buck bargain in my opinion. I would easily pay double for this lighter, and if I only had one Zippo, this would be the version I would get. Not to mention, watch some of your great action films, whether it's John McClane crawling through the AC duct trying to light his way, or Indiana Jones trying to escape the Nazis. They use Zippos. They work. They're awesome, and they are addicting. There is a Zippo for almost every occasion. Check out Zippo's website for more info. And so that's a wrap. Best gift ideas for men under $25. You can't go wrong with the 1941 replica vintage Zippo USA made lighter. This version is a must own in my opinion. Make sure you check one out and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe for more content, more suggestions, and more gear reviews for men. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.